Okay, let's go into a little more detail on DocuWiki and some of the features that are found here. And um, we'll try to uh, hit many of the things that you're going to have to try to deal with as you use the, uh, as you use the DocuWiki. One of the first things that you'll want to do when you start using this uh, particular wiki is to make sure you have an account because we're going to restrict pages for certain groups. Um, so that only our class will have access to some pages and etc cetera, etc. Cetera. You'll notice a login button on the bottom right hand corner and I'm going to go ahead and click on that button and even if you don't have login information you want to start there uh, because that next page then will give you a link to register and uh, that's one of the first things you want to do. Register for the program um, make sure you include a legitimate email uh, it won't be shared with others and a username that um, you're comfortable with in the sense that um, it's going to be showing up in different places like when you leave comments and as you log in that'll be used so um, go ahead and do that I actually click on it so you can see what it looks like um, username you can set your own password do it twice so we know it's accurate and then your full name and your email and register once you have that you uh, can then log in to the system so I'm gonna go back a page I'm actually going to log in as a test user so that things look more like they will for you rather than as they look for me as an admin. Okay, so user management is important because you're going to run across pages where it says you don't have access to this page and we can set up different things based upon um, you being logged in. So, uh, second thing I want to show you is um, and we'll get into editing in other tutorials, but it's important for you to realize that all of these documents have a history. And if you click on old revisions, you're going to see all of the revisions that have happened to this particular page. Obviously, I've been working on it a lot here lately, using this for the tutorials. But every row here is basically an instance where somebody pressed save. And the nice thing about this is we can then go back to any of the prior versions of this. So this is what the page looked like um, yesterday. I think it was around 1 o'clock. Uh, but this is the old revision. This isn't the, the current one. Um, let's go back. And rather than actually choosing the page, we can click on this these uh, sunglasses, which gives us a comparison between um, what the page looked like looks like currently and what it looked like um, at that particular version and this helps us kind of track different changes. This can be really helpful. Um, well, in one sense if we make a major mistake um, and we want to revert back to an older version uh, we simply go back to the version that we want and we can click edit this page and now we save it again, but now it will save it then as um, the current version. It says, now a newer one of this exists. Um, are you sure this is what you want to do? And we'll say, yes, we want to save this, and we want to go back to the other one. And basically, we went back in time. Incredibly helpful, and a part of the reason why uh, wikis are um, actually much more effective than people give them credit for. People are worried that, well, if anybody can make changes, how do you know that it's accurate? Well, any change that's made is always logged, and if it's incorrect or uh, malicious or um, simply not helpful, then we revert back to the prior version. Okay, how do you get help around here? Well, the um, most of the help you're going to want will probably have to do with um, the editing. And again, we have separate tutorials for each of them, but it's worth pointing out every time you go into the edit section, you have a link for the formatting syntax and clicking on that particular button there will give you an overview of all the different syntax and how it, it uh, can be used within the DocuWiki um, and again we have separate ones don't be overwhelmed by this um, it's just good to know that all of these things are somewhere um, you can get help with anything you want to try to do within the wiki um, right from the browser. So this is just saying do you want to uh, it was it's a form that it uses so you'll get this post data when you use your back button 
um, and generally that's okay because all it's doing is open up another form for you. Um, other places for help, uh, one of the most common practices for figuring out how to do stuff with the wiki is looking at pages that have it the way you want to. So um, simply going to edit this page lets you see the syntax that somebody used to generate something. And of course you can always email me and um, also use a Google Talk. Hopefully we'll be logged in at similar times and you can use Google Talk to uh, communicate with me. Okay. Uh, how do you get around in this? Well, the, the course's homepage is obviously the, the starting point, and that's where you're going to come to when you get, get into the course. Now, depending on which class you're in, um, let's say Web 2.0 for education, you'll notice once you go into there, your menu changes. So each course is going to have a unique menu that um, is uh, specific to that course. And so you can see you'll have access to the syllabus and the schedule from anywhere throughout the course. Um, I got this handbook in here, but that's actually for another class, so that'll be fixed before you get in. And you also see in many of the courses now um, a Google Talk login, uh, which simply requires a Gmail account. If you don't have those, you can go ahead and register for one, and they're um, actually quite helpful. So I'd certainly encourage you to do that, which I guess I could sign in right now too. So you can see what it looks like. Oh, it's already got my information there, so it just adds me right away. And I'm Skr alum when it shows up on there. That's S K E R A L U M. Okay, um, navigation. Another way to navigate throughout, you'll notice um, this header will give you kind of a hierarchical listing of the pages you've been to. So you can often go back here to get to where you want to go. The back button works um, just as well. One final note I want to show you, and you'll find these on many of the pages, and that is discussion items. So there's two ways to kind of give feedback as you work through a course. So if we look at the tutorial page here, and let's look at the first tutorial, what is a wiki. On this page you'll see I added a comment section or a discussion section. And by simply typing in here, save, we can get a little dialogue going related to that particular page. And we'll use this a lot when we um, reading articles, discussing different projects, etc., etc. So. Okay, that was just uh, intended to be an overview of some of the more specifics on DocuWiki. Uh, the subsequent tutorials will get you into uh, details on editing and um, developing your own pages.